Fall of 2014, I moved 500 miles away from home to the snowiest college in the United States, Michigan Tech. I knew five people and I had no idea how I was going to fit in. I had been involved with innovation and creativity from a young age through a program called Destination Imagination. I wondered how I was going to continue this passion in college. My first semester, I found myself in a class where my two TAs were Brad and David, University Innovation Fellows on campus. And that's where my story truly begins. Three days before the application was due, I received an email from David asking me to apply to be a UIF. With little to no information, I took a chance one that would end up being the best decision I've made so far in my college career. As soon as I applied, Brad and David got me involved with everything they were doing on campus. I hadn't even gotten accepted yet, and they asked me to help with a 10x thinking workshop. I didn't know what I was doing, let alone what design thinking really was, so I sat back and observed. This would be the first of many design thinking workshops I would be involved with. As I completed my UIF training in spring 2015, our team continued to facilitate more and more workshops on campus. But I was never confident to lead any of it by myself. I was afraid I would say the wrong thing. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to lead a discussion. I was afraid I would fail at design thinking. I was afraid. I would help write up detailed plans of the workshops, but when asked if I would lead a piece, I would say, you can do it. It came down to Brad telling me I had to lead something. I had to just try. I found myself questioning if I really deserved to be a UIF. I had to remind myself that Brad and David asked me for a reason. They believed I could do it. I needed to believe in myself. I thrive in my comfort zone of planning and organizing things behind the scenes. And I needed to allow myself to enter a stretch zone, an area where I may not be confident but I would grow and could make a bigger impact. Sometimes I fall back into my old routine of saying, you can do it. But I have started to believe in myself and step up and lead things by saying, I can do it. And I wouldn't have been able to do it without the experiences I've had. I have taught design thinking to 10 high school students in a summer camp, 20 elementary students in an after school class, 40 faculty and staff in workshops, and over 4,000 college students in many initiatives, workshops, and classes. At the end of the day, they're just big fancy numbers. The real impact is the confidence I've gained in myself. By allowing myself to say four short words, I can do it. I've empowered myself to make an impact on my campus and help foster the maker culture. Those four short words have changed my life. So I challenge you, how might you step outside of your comfort zone to make a bigger impact? Thank you.